Eric, hi. Hey, Allie, how you doing? I'm great. All right. Welcome to our home. I love this room, this is great. Yeah, we call this the big room. Okay, that fits. There's a lot of historical details that we really love about this house. Yeah, I noticed two fireplaces in there, that's awesome. You have two in there, now one in the formal dining wow. room here. We have a total of 10. 10? Yeah. You're lucky. Yeah, and like any house, we end up spending the most amount of time here in the kitchen. Okay. So the fireplace we wrote you about is here. Right. Um, there's a lot of cool things about it, but some cleanup that we want to do, especially with the, the creosote buildup before we're really comfortable using it. Okay. All right. Couple things that I do notice. I love that grill over there. <laughs> you can use that for cooking, which is fantastic. I really love this cooking arm right here, so you can take your pot out, put your pot back, boil your water. But uh, unfortunately, what I also noticed was all this creosote back here can be dangerous. Yes, a lot of cleanup that we've been trying to do. So we burnt a couple of creosote logs. We've taken some dish soap and scrubbing over here. But as we're getting into more of the buildup of the creosote, right. a little unsure of the next steps we should be taking. The main issue with creosote is that it is extremely flammable. The more creosote that you have, the bigger the risk. I think we can handle it. It is pretty bad. First thing I want to do, though, is grab my flashlight. We should check everything out while we're here. Okay, so just as suspected, we do see a little bit of creosote build up in the flues. Mm -hmm. So creosote comes in three different stages. What we have in these flues is stage one. It's really just an ashy substance. But what we have in this firebox is stage two and stage three. Stage two is all this flaky stuff that you're looking at, yep. which is pretty bad. But the worst of it is what we call stage three, and you can see the oily substance, very shiny. And that's the real danger part. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to concentrate, get rid of that. So what exactly is creosote? Creosote is when fossil fuels, and in this case, the fossil fuel is going to be the wood, yeah. when it doesn't combust the way it should. So if the fireplace isn't working as great as we want it to, mm -hmm. the, the burn is going to be a lot slower, and that's going to create a lot of the creosote. And one of the big culprits when you use the wood is the logs are wet or they haven't been dried out properly. That's gonna cause the creosote. And the biggest culprit to me is when people burn pine. It's very soft, very wet, and sappy, and that turns into creosote very quickly. So how do we tackle this now? You have to remember that this is very, very hard to remove, so we're gonna do a few different things. Great, let's do it. So where do we get started? All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start out dry, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this metal putty knife. That'll take off a lot of the flakiness and a lot of the stage three stuff, hopefully. We're also gonna use this four inch grinder. It's got a metal wheel on it. Hopefully that's gonna help us take off the leafy stuff and the hard stuff. We're gonna also use a drill with an abrasive blade. That should take off some of the other heavy stuff. After that, we're gonna wet the wall down and we're gonna use chemicals. This guy right here, you can get out of any store. Uh, hopefully that takes care of everything and that works. If it doesn't, we're gonna get more aggressive. I took this out of the brickyard. It's got some stronger chemicals in it. All we're gonna do with that is use this bristle brush. We're gonna take this material and kind of spread it let it set up, and then hopefully it's doing its work. We wash it down and some of this stuff disappears. Importantly, we wanna make sure we're safetyed up. Uh, set of goggles and gloves for you, same for me. And the last thing we wanna make sure is we have proper ventilation. So open doors, open windows as we have, and uh, that should be able to get us started. Great, let's All do right. it. So what's the technique with this? Going for it? Just going for it, that's it. Actually, I'm pretty happy with the start. All right, Al, you want to try it out? For sure. All right, step right in. <laughs> so this is the three? That's the three you're on. Oh, There's yeah. a little bit of two there, but. Yeah, haven't actually felt okay. it yet. There you go. You're making it red, Allie. Yeah, pretty satisfying. Looks good, yep. kind of crazy how tough the, the three is. The three is, so you can really feel the difference. Yeah. So is this something we should be doing every year or? Yeah. If you have a heavy year of fires, you know, make it a spring project. Got it. 
Can you scrape too hard with the metal? Pretty much no. Got it. Wow, that's looking good actually. All right, Allie, those knives worked pretty well for us. Right now, I think I'm gonna try the wire on the grinder. Give me a few minutes to see what I can get out of that. I'll get out of your way. You jump in with the abrasive pad and we'll see what we can do in this section. Sounds great. Now I think all we have to do is apply the cleaner. The first thing we want to do is just dampen the wall a little bit. It's already starting to work. Wow. 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 Wow, what a transformation. All right, Allie, I'm so happy with the way it came out, but I am gonna leave you with a little bit of homework. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, we couldn't get up on top of that damper, so all you have to do is call a chimney sweep. They'll come in with some brushes. I've already checked out the flues, they're in perfect condition. So just a scrub and you should be ready to go. Wonderful. For being such a focal point of our kitchen, we're just so excited to have red brick again. So thank you so much. All right, well, you're welcome. And if you have questions about your house, we'd love to hear from you, so keep them coming. Until then, I'm Mark McCullough for Ask This Old House. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.